Hello my friend, I hope you are doing well in these challenging times. As promised, I came up with this fourth video of this series, Mastering K3S Cluster on Raspberry Pi, where I will help you deploy your first app that's going to be Who Am I application in the cluster we created earlier. So let's quickly get into what we will be creating to deploy Who Am I application. The very first thing would be our deployment YAML file which includes the name of the app and its associated information along with initial configuration of the app. To name few, it includes number of replicas, image and the port number to use. And the second thing would be a service which will map to the deployment or the app and route any incoming traffic from ingress to app pods port number. And lastly, an ingress which will allow devices outside of cluster to connect to the internal port. All right, much talking. Let's set up our ingress dashboard quickly to view our ingress connection. If needful information on how to set up ingress dashboard, please do watch third video of this series. All right, now that our dashboard is up, we will follow up the sequence of deployment of application. That would be first the deployment of application YAML file. Second would be service YAML file. And third would be ingress YAML file. This is the sequence and this will remain same for every app deployment until Rancher devs do some major change. Now, as per the sequence, uh, let's deploy our app YAML file. I have it saved here. For convenience, I'm creating a folder named Who Am I? Let's create the app YAML file. All right, that's there. Let's deploy it. And the namespace I'm going to use is cube.system. All right, our app has been created. Uh, basically, a pod has been created. One pod should be running. So let's see whether that's the case. All right, we do see who am I application is successfully running. Now, the second phase was to create a service. Let's get to the service YAML file. Similar to app will deploy the service. Our service has been deployed. We can check on that too. All right, we do see who am I service is running and it's listening port number 80. Now, before deploying the ingress YAML file, let me quickly explain what these values actually mean. Um, this is the API version uh, from the Rancher Labs, which is given as networking k8io version one. And the type of uh, object we are creating is ingress. 
and the name we are giving of the ingress object is who am I dash HTTP and uh, these annotations are the way of telling traffic ingress controller what is the kind or what is the configuration we want for our ingress or or what should be the behavior of our ingress so in this case it's simply web so it's listening on HTTP if it would have been web secure then it, it would have been listening on port number 443 and talking about specifications we have rules under rules we have host so any any time a device tries to communicate or browses to whoami.lakra.com.net it should get resolved to the port running internally on port number 80 and the path is for a slash service name which we created earlier so it's binding this ingress rule to the who am i service listening on port number 18. i hope that would be clear enough let's quickly deploy the ingress file now All right, that's there. So since this is part of the traffic ingress controller, we should now be able to see it in the traffic dashboard. Right, it should be under HTTP. Yep, here we are able to see who am I dot dot .com .net. So we have successfully created a web entry point using which our external devices could access the in internal pod so let's quickly go to whoami.lakra.com.net and let's see what do we get Let's quickly check what is the path exactly. It's L U C K. Yep, there we have it. This is the application running inside the container pod, which returns the information of who am I and also the IP details of its internal networking infrastructure. And there you have it. Who am I application successfully running in your K3S cluster? And I hope you, are, you have successfully completed this uh, tutorial. And I hope, you, hope to see you in the other one. Have a very good time and see ya.